Hello and welcome to podcast, a real original name for real original content, and it appears that Jimmy has broke another chair. Listen, this was you, I bent it a little bit, and then your rage that I broke it, you actually broke it. Don't break my chairs. We don't have a budget, and I don't have any money. Today, our guest is Austin Hacker. You may have heard of him. He's been No, in, that's just it. You may have heard of you him. You may have heard of him. <laughs> you from, might um you might not from have. a local band that's not the topic we're talking about today. Because <laughs> of reasons. <laughs> you better stay tuned, kiddies, because I know where you live. Who the hell said that? Oh, Alice Cooper was in here. I don't know if you guys Al- saw that. Alice Coop? Who's that? I didn't see him. Oh well. <laughs> oh, you mean Rob Zombie? Rob Zombie. Rob Zombie was in here? <laughs> yeah. What? Luckily, I was able to get him out. God, yeah. <laughs> I guess ODing in your pool right now. No, no, it's cold in there. I just cleaned. I just that. cleaned the pool. There's gonna be so much makeup in it God when Rob Zombie it. gets out. He doesn't wear makeup. I've seen Dragula. <laughs> Must have should have. Uh, no. So today our topic is the apocalypse. So our apocalyptic setting specifically Minecraft is a Minecraft like scenario where a plague has wiped out the majority of the population of the planet. And you are set in a Minecraft like situation because you survived the plague for whatever reason. I'm gonna say Because you had some amoxicillin. Okay okay. So that's our situation. But you're out of moxicillin. And now we're going in to the apocalypse with all the knowledge that we have now. And we can't gain any knowledge. Or I don't know what the fuck I'm saying right now. Um, yeah, how so, would you be gaining knowledge that you don't I don't know. Go to a, are li- people go Enderman? To a library. Yes, so, people are Endermen. So we have... So, has the lore of Minecraft then already been established? N- no. Okay, so there's no real lore to... Can't we just follow Minecraft's plot? I mean, what plot? What there's do you a, mean there's what a plot? there's a dragon and you kill it. That's about it. And then you ascend. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So but there's there's not much plot to Minecraft. Is this pre or post ascension? Is, is the ultimate goal of this apocalyptic world to ascend? The ultimate goal of this apocalyptic situation is to survive and be a total badass. Yeah, but if nobody else is alive, what's it matter what you do? Well, what matters is that you don't starve to death, because obviously your innate human nature... Yeah, but if there is literally no other people, what is the point of living? I got a question before we continue. Will this be a open server, or... (laughs) (laughs) So, can people just randomly come in and show up at any given point, or are you just going to be... No. <laughs> Do I? It is, it is a closed server. Okay. So, so then there's no point in living. No, hold it's on, just no, me. No, no, no. Now remember, I said most of the population has been wiped out. That doesn't mean that everybody has been killed. But in Minecraft, everybody's gone. Except the Enderman. Except when your buddies get online with you. Now, it, now it's not an open server, but everybody's there. You know, that people are still people Do I have grief exist. protection? No. <laughs> what well, kind then, of question is that? What's the point? They're just going to blow up my stuff. <sighs> Keep inventory. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Can I respawn like Can in I, Minecraft? No, you can't respawn. I'll just eat my body every okay, time. So we're I on hard, this is on hardcore, hardcore. mode. L- hardcore mode. Are creepers a thing? Yes. Yes. Uh, how did they come into existence? We don't because know. pigs mutated. So this is no longer about the apocalypse. This is now about uh, living in Minecraft. <laughs> Wait, don't isn't no the evolution of pigs zombie pigmen? Is the nether real? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, that depends on your religious place. I think I believe uh, that's very dependent upon your religious beliefs. So, can I make potions? Yes. Uh, it, yes. We have into gone paganism. Yes. We have gone into about four minutes and thirty seconds of this episode, and uh, we have we, only we, talked about Minecraft. We've only talked about Minecraft. So we'll okay. say. We'll, we'll go that this so isn't it's, it's almost like a Minecraft situation, but it's not... Which is a great example if you've was, ever heard of Minecraft. Yes, Minecraft is a fantastic game, and we're not sponsored by Minecraft. Minecraft, please sponsor us. But please. we are sponsored by NordVPN. We are not sponsored! By NordVPN. Please sponsor us. Thank you, NordVPN. We, we would like money for chairs. <laughs> Listen. We need chair money. Do you even have your channel monetized? No. 
Just turn that on. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> I need a thousand subscribers. Please subscribe. Please like and subscribe. If everybody if who watched this, this podcast subscribed, we would have a hundred subscribers. <laughs> Please. So, all right. In in this apocalyptic situation, yes. The entire, not the entire. Most people have been wiped out. Yes. What's the first thing you're doing if you find out that <clears throat> basically everyone that you've known has died? You know what? I'm gonna run outside. I'm gonna go punch a tree. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna not cry because that's a little bitch move, well, and I am going to also punch to a tree. also punch a fucking tree in the face. I, I, are we in Minecraft? Oh. No, I'm just pissed <laughs> off no, at the tree. tree. Like, <laughs> y'all telling me you don't run outside and punch trees, or y'all I'm breaking my knuckles to make them stronger? Discount code for Ark Survival Evolved PS4. Would you quit looking at my history? <laughs> I bet porn's going to come up here. Oh, Joey, come on. I'm 18. I'm allowed to look. (laughs) Yeah, he no longer has to look. Yeah, I no longer have to keep it a secret. (laughs) Ben Gillig watches this podcast. I forgot. (laughs) My apologies to all all the people who thought of me in, in, in a sweet, innocent way. But that's gone now. Okay. Minecraft. Minecraft apocalypse. Uh, hey, so, this children's programming anymore? <laughs> was it ever? Yeah. Oh no, I purposely put that this is not a children's channel. You know how channel. hard I tried in the first episode? I kept Joey to one swear word. Axe. Body spray. Axe. That's what I need. <laughs> first thing, what the hell Why is you this? you going to shopping? German Axe Pistol. By Medieval Collectibles. <laughs> What's the point? What is the I point? I want to know in medieval times how the fuck they would have had a uh, whoa, you know, a pistol attached to their axe. Uh, they- shoot yourself in the foot. You go to swing it, it goes off, and now you shoot yourself in yeah, the foot. Yeah, where's the trigger at there? <laughs> All right, so... Pers- well, no, hang on. It's either that, you know, you're fucking, like, going to throw it, and you shoot yourself in the foot, or you're getting your arm cut off <laughs> yeah, by an axe. So... Melee weapons. So if I- you were to pick a melee weapon... What would be your first choice? My hand. <laughs> I said a weapon. These babies right here are registered as deadly weapons. If I were to kill you with them, I would be charged with manslaughter. Are we really going to quote yeah. fucking... You're, and you're misquoting it. You're yeah. misquoting it very heavily, and that's really... Oh, I'm sorry I don't have it memorized. I'm sorry I don't keep that memorized okay. in my head. listen to this. Why don't you? My hands are registered weapons. If I kill you... I go to jail. That's racist. No. Th- I was quoting the movie in the voice that anyone was used. Anyone kills anyone in a fight, they go to jail. jail. It's, it's called, called manslaughter. Yeah. Oh, I quoted two different parts. You quoted two different lines. Anyway, I'm mixed, going with... um. Them. I'm going to go with a hammer. Going with a hammer? A big like hammer. Like a sledgehammer? Or like Not that a, big, like, but like a two-handed <coughs> hammer. Not a sledgehammer, two-handed hammer. Like okay, like a long so hammer. so kind of like <laughs> regular hammer head, but it's on like a really long staff. So, are you thinking more of like a mall? No, look up long hammer. <laughs> <laughs> no, I want you to look up long hammer. No, fuck? that's pointed. That's Darth Maul. I'm not Darth Maul. No, I'm talking more about uh, like this. Right? That's an the axe. That's not an axe. That's an axe. That is, it literally says. <sighs> you're no, it says Elder Maul. <laughs> Think, think of like uh, think of like what what's his name has in the Avengers Tony Tony Hawk mm. yeah <laughs> or Thor the one that Thor has Mjolnir I don't Kazoon tight <laughs> what <laughs> <laughs> yeah like that like okay so a war hammer a is thicky what hammer for. yeah all right Austin what would be your first choice of melee weapon if I pick a sharpened blade, will I be able to sharpen said blade at all? Yes, obviously, because, I mean... Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you be able to? <laughs> there's dozens of knife sharpeners all over the place that it's you It's called can a use. whetstone? Um, there's knife sharpen. I have a knife sharpener upstairs. It's called a whetstone. Okay, well, I'm going to go uh, between a scythe. Okay. And Grim Reaper. <laughs> hey, you know how badass that would be to go outside and mow down some zombies with a scythe? It'd be kind of neat, I guess. Um, either that or a spiked bat. Mm. 
See, I'm down with the scythe idea, but now listen to this. I'm going to also have a sickle with my hammer. <laughs> sickle would be pretty cool, too. But I then am you gotta going with <laughs> a... I would personally go for a spear, but with a longer blade than what we're seeing here on screen. Oh, so a sword. No. <laughs> a, sp- a, a, a spear a lo- with a long blade. A sword. A, a, yes, basically a very <laughs> long-handled sword is okay. what I would go for. It's called a great sword. See, though, a my great problem sword. with a spear Let's is... See what- I can tell you that you're wrong because that's a really long blade. Oh, yeah, it's a great sword. That's a a great sword is a really long blade. I'm thinking like no, exactly wait, the how second lightsabers exist in this scenario. No, I'm going no. no. <laughs> well, but if they did, then yes. I'm actually me thinking too. like exact opposite of this. So wherever you see blade is what would and like this would be the spear. Okay, so just a regular spear. No, like a spear, but with a longer blade. It's it's not that hard of a concept. Spears typically have short blades. Look up spear. I already did. Look it up again. God damn it. <laughs> okay, so while That's I'm... That's not how you spell spear. While I'm uh, Googling this... Spear. I'm going to... <laughs> you see that see, sexy look, girl hobo? See, more like this. Like, the, <laughs> like this right here. So a spear. Yes, a spear, but like... Genuinely typi- called typ- survival typically, spear. Typically spears have short ends like this one. You just cherry picked that because there's a bunch around it that have a very long end. No, there's not. Kind of are. Actually. Kind of. No, there's not. Most of them. They can't see what we're talking about, guys. Quit being dicks. <laughs> Look up spear. Dude, tomahawk. You know the tomahawk. I had my entire opinion changed after Assassin's Creed Three. Oh yes, I forgot. Also, it's a great podcast that has uh, Joe Thomas. From the Cleveland Browns, the Tomahawk Show. Quick plug for my man Joe Thomas. Please subscribe. You act like he's please. not here with us right now. <laughs> hey, it's Joe Thomas, the man who cooks things. Hey, uh, c- could you please sponsor us? We need money. <laughs> hey, Joe Thomas would love to have you on the show, we, and would we l- just need like ten dollars for chair money? <laughs> would love to have you on the show, or I would be on your show as well. My Venmo's Joey B Simcoe. <laughs> Just please give me $10 for chair money. We're running out of chair we're money. We're running out of chairs. I keep breaking them. We, we keep saying we're going to buy an expensive, sturdy chair, but we keep just buying cheap, unsafe ones. This is why I think we should have videos so people could understand the issues of Jimmy breaking these chairs. chairs. Yeah, <laughs> wait. <laughs> okay. So now that we're over melee weapons, yeah, I feel like we should talk about ranged weapons. Gun. Spear. But <laughs> he's not. He's, he's not wrong. He's really not wrong. Wow. Okay. So now I want you to be specific when you talk about what. What are you pointing at? Are you, don't. Let's not focus on that image. Okay. So the first, the first ranged weapon you're picking. What is the first weapon you're going to choose? Gun. What type? Could you please be specific? I specifically said be specific. A Long one. one. <laughs> <laughs> Anything chambered higher than nine mil. <laughs> I don't care. Anything uh, a, like a hunting rifle, maybe a China lake. For fuck's sakes! Just say your dream gun. <laughs> oh, dream gun. I'm I'm rocking a Desert Eagle. <laughs> That's a solid choice. <laughs> no, it's not. You'll break your wrists. No. Um, I'm gonna actually. <laughs> You'll break your wrist. I'm gonna go with anything chambered 45 a- 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 ACP. A- yeah, that that's right. Okay, I want to say APC, but that's an armored personnel carrier. <laughs> Austin, double barrel shotgun. What happens when you need three shots? Hey, if you need three shots, you're not doing a good job. <laughs> I, All right. Joseph, how about you? I'm picking a shotgun with a drum magazine. That's illegal. Not during when everyone's dead. Oh, well, then I'm taking a China Lake. A what? A China Lake. Wait, can I just have a cannon sitting in my yard? You've never seen a China Lake? Oh, okay. I never... I didn't know that's what it was called. It's a grenade launcher for you at home that that don't know. I I didn't know that's what it was called. I just thought it was called a fucking grenade launcher. Well, it depends on, you know, your culture level. Well... That's my bad. Actually, <laughs> my, my genuine, like, range weapon, bow and arrow. Really? Very silent. It, you can reload fairly quick. And it's a pretty... Remember, this isn't like show. a zombie apocalypse. This is just a regular apocalypse. Hey, you don't... man, you can camp up in hey, a tree and... I said people died. I didn't say anything about animals. You want to stay quiet around... Why? Why? Well, I mean, if you want to kill multiple deer, if you're getting... Like, you could get one silently. How many deer do you need to eat? Seven. 
You can hunt one one day, take it home, come back out the next day, and those deer are back. We're like, <sighs> yeah, but deer for like the, six weeks. Yeah, like, the, the idea of silence is lame. Ideal. I think it's very ideal in an apocalypse situation because it's a it. If you're stealthy, then you're healthy. Okay, so then we'll say, oh no, I'm a stealth boy. Now I'm in a group of about 12 people, and I have a bow and arrow as I'd my like weapon. i to throw out here the only time I've ever heard Joey actually be silent is while we're playing Friday the 13th, the video game. When so, he is Jason. Yeah. yeah. Only when he's Jason. Only when too. I'm Jason. So, and I think it works fairly well. <laughs> it doesn't... No. <laughs> <laughs> no, it does. How many... I, I, okay. Quick talk about Friday the 13th real quick. Who do you think is the best Jason in our friend group? I mean, I always get the job done. No, you do not. I can think of a few times I escaped you. I can um, name a couple times I've escaped you also. We all kind of suck, though. You know, I can tell you who's the worst. Evan. <laughs> Evan is by far the worst. Yes, definitely. Who is or was a guest on the show at one point. You yeah. remember Evan. The you man remember who Evan, ate the, the man who ate my salad. You want me to make another one? No, nah, I'm good. So. We we got we got buffalo chicken dip here. We're fine. <laughs> uh, I don't know if that counts. Anymore. All right, so now we're gonna say you get a heavy weapon as a well. A heavy weapon. Just because, like, we'll say you were, you Define know, fine heavy weapon. Yeah, that's what we're looking at. Now, are we talking? On are we talking <laughs> Mandalorian helmet? Yeah, that's you know exactly what. what are we talking I tanks, would rock Jimmy? A fucking uh, <laughs> a Mandalorian uniform during this. I think you like, just get murdered made out as of a Beskar weed. steel. Yes. Okay. Well. Okay, you get one. Let's go this route. You get one companion. Okay. Falcon. From the Winter Soldier. <laughs> <laughs> I'm picking the Winter Soldier. <laughs> no, like God animal. Damn it. We'll say animal companion. Animal companion. Falcon. Now, Falcon is a very solid pick, but can you give some reasoning as to why you would pick a Falcon? It's going to live for a long time. All right, let's let's uh, see the lifespan of a Falcon. Falcion? <laughs> Falcon? Would you quit fucking looking at what I'm spelling? Falcon <laughs> average. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's what they meant. <laughs> What's funny is it was in images. It said 7 to 15 years. It was? Yeah. Um... Lifespan of 13 years, maximum longevity records for wild birds is from 16 to 20 years old. The longest known lifespan of a captive peregrine falcon is 25 years. That's kind of short. Yeah, that's fairly short. I now, mean, how long is your pit bull going to live for? Well, now life? listen to this. I'm choosing a parrot. <laughs> <laughs> the first image is the least scary bird I've ever seen. All of these are the least scary bird. Look at how cute they all are. <laughs> Now, aside from the fact that they look cute as fuck... Well, hang on, what do they eat? Let's just go off of that Seed. Real quick. <laughs> exactly. Hold on. Now, the point that I'm trying to get across is that a parrot is just like any other bird of prey because it is a bird of prey. More like a bird of insects and seeds. Look, it has yes. talons on its feet. Kind of small. Know. Never watched a parrot eat a mouse. <sighs> when have you ever seen a parrot... I um, owned one. You owned a parrot? Not a, an exotic parrot, but a yellow-tailed cockatoo, and those are the same damn thing. Well, What's the lifespan, homeboy? Oh, you want to know the lifespan of a parrot? That's what I asked. Three oh, days. you want to know the lifespan of a parrot? 95 Shit. years is the maximum lifespan of a cockapoo. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Gotta get me a cockapoo. Hold on, what? I think that was Joey's oh nickname my... in high school. <laughs> <laughs> Owl parrot. The owl parrot. That's an ugly bird. It says flightless. Bird. It's flightless. It's flightless? Well, well, that's not the one I wanted to go for. It's going to hop at you. Okay, so I'm going <laughs> to... I'm going to alarm the gray. <laughs> gray parrot. Gray parrot. I hope the lifespan's like 10 days. I'd also like to uh, establish Joey has to 60 changed years. the type of parrot he has wanted at least four times. <laughs> I'm researching So right tell me, now, Joey, how many it? times have you been to the Congo where you can get a gray parrot? Uh, people sell parrots online, Jimmy. I'm yeah. gonna, I'm In gonna, the I'm apocalypse, look, you're going to order a gray parrot online. I'm going to get a parrot before the apocalypse. Costs, All right, how much right a gray now. parrot cost? Right now, look it up. Gray parrot cost? I looked this up a I'll while go steal ago. me a falcon. <laughs> I'll just grab one. They're all over. Oh, f- oh wait. A thousand five hundred dollars. Five hundred dollars is the cost of an African gray parrot. 
that's on the lower end, and three thousand five hundred on the higher. You're end. gonna spend that much on a stupid, ugly bird? Well, now that's if that I can't. That's fly. if I were to get a bird. Now I want you to look at this. Pit bull? Oh, this will eat your children. Exactly. <laughs> The pit bulls are widely regarded as one of the most dangerous dog breeds. It has a bite force of 235 pounds, which is only 71% of that of Rottweilers. So, so get a Rottweiler. I, I thought pit bulls had the strongest bite force. <laughs> They're the ugliest. What? Yeah, I don't. Uh, pit you, bulls are ugly. You don't ugly. think pit bulls are cute? Have you ever seen their face? It's all weird. Have you seen my dog? He's basically a pit bull. His face is a little weird. I'm like, Jimmy, what would you pick? For a dog? Yes. Or uh, for, for a companion, that would be like an animal. Oh. Like well, can I say what dog I would pick first? Pit bulls. Yeah, well, like German what Shepherd. Oh, that's a solid that's choice. That's a very solid choice. It's a very solid choice. And I'm not talking one of those lame military German Shepherds either. I'm talking the German ones. Yeah. If I had a companion dog during the apocalypse, I'm going to go with a husky. That's kind of cute. Oh, yeah. And those fuckers. Oh, Burmese bitches, Mountain Dog. Dude. Look up oh, a Burmese Mountain Dog. Irish Wolfhounds. I'm going to look up an Irish Wolfhound. No, I said Burmese. I'm doing... Irish wolfhound. Look up a Russian bear look how hunting big dog. These, look how big these dogs yeah, are. Yeah, you think that guy's big. Look up a... Look no. up a... Like, these guys are huge. No, Joey, I really... Right now, look up a uh, Bur- Russian uh, bear, bear hunting dog. I think that is a Burmese mountain I dog. I think so, but... I'm gonna go by the limb man. Oh, Burmese. Hold on. Yeah. No, they're different. Yeah, this is Beethoven. This is Beethoven. Yeah, but he's big. This is Beethoven. <laughs> Yeah, Beethoven's now look not up the scary. fucking bear hunting dog. Is that just its name? Bear hunting dog. I don't dog. even know what its actual name is. Bear hunting dog. Oh! Oh! Oh, yes, the Carlion bear dog. Um, It's from Finnishland. Same, same thing as Russia. Oh, the Carlisles. Actually, according to the well, 1945 you know, war, you know what, yes, it is. <laughs> you know what dogs are actually, like, really fucking mean? Oh, the Akitas. The Akita. They are... Really mean dogs. Yeah, but they're from Japan. Well, this has been our podcast about dog breeds. <laughs> <laughs> but they live 10 to 15 years, which is honestly like a pretty long time for a dog. Not really. I mean, it's It's a decent. fairly long time. My dog that's dying upstairs is 14. <laughs> and that's like, hold on, hold on. So, the actual animal I would pick, and you're going to have to hear me yet. out here, is a fish. A fish. A fish. Why? You ever seen a what catfish? Kind of fish? A catfish? You ever seen a catfish? Yeah, I've seen a catfish. Those things walk on land sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> where? <laughs> Look up catfish. No, I know that they walk, but where do they walk? Land. It's not in Ohio. <laughs> that you can the catfish can walk in Ohio if they can walk anywhere else. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> ground's different. Can't ground, do it. Ground's different. Now the thing with catfish is you can you can bake them, you can fry them. They're okay, delicious. He wants this as a companion. Yeah, but not, this is a companion, not. Food. It lays eggs, and I can have more catfish. Or more Where are you companions. going to get the other catfish from? Because you're only allowed to have one animal. Can you pick a catfish as well? <laughs> can, we can, have, can you also pick a catfish? I'm assuming though, in each scenario. <laughs> Each one of us is dead from the other person, though. Like, that's how oh, I'm Oh, yeah, that's this. how I'm feeling it, too. I'm feeling like, I think that both of you guys are dead. That's what I'm thinking here. Oh, can I keep one of you as my companion? Yeah, I'm going to allow that uh, well, one, actually. Yeah, you know what? All right, I'm taking Austin. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm taking Austin, too. Fuck you. No, he's mine. <laughs> no, he's mine. <laughs> wait, who's Austin taking? Austin. <laughs> I'm going to clone wait, myself. Wait. Joey <laughs> with black leather. <laughs> Yeah, what's that supposed to be? <laughs> what, what is that? You've seen Austin Powers. <laughs> can we can we pull that up on screen real quick? Austin Powers, black leather. Oh, fuck! He definitely did not start typing Austin. <laughs> <laughs> no, I definitely did. <laughs> Man, when we get a camera, you're gonna look stupid. I want to give you the computer. <laughs> Oh! Oh! Wait a minute, on Joey? Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait. You know what? I changed my answer. <laughs> That's what I want as well. <laughs> I'm okay with that. <laughs> Just treat me right. <laughs> I'm gonna pistol whip you until you speak in only English accents. Oh dear. Hold on, please. <laughs> oh, jeez. 
Um, <laughs> so now you've got your companion and your weapons. Where well, are you going? Yeah, I was going to say location. Now, this is a very important part because you always hear people talking location, location, Kansas location. City. Location. Kansas City. Kansas City, Okay, Kansas. do you want to explain why Kansas City? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, but actually, um, I think I would go to Montana. It's very cold. You can farm. Mm-hmm. It is a U.S. Did you, did you, state. Did you look up Montana? Did you not? No, I knew it was a place. Okay. I was just pulling it up for reference. Um, but yeah, I like I like it's close to Idaho. Mm-hmm. So in the summer I can plant potatoes. Yeah. And in the winter I can live in a cabin by the lake. Yes. Okay. That that's a pretty solid choice. And my yeah. uh, my my catfish could also live in the lake. Yeah. Because he with, needs with water. Other, with other catfish? With other catfish. That's where I'd get my food source in the winter, is <laughs> Catfish Lake, which is what I would rename it. <laughs> catfish Lake. No. Austin, where would you go? Iowa. Iowa? There is nothing there. There is no- I've been to Iowa, and I can tell you that is the most boring state that has ever existed. I just want you to picture this. It's so boring that it's literally the only... Wait. So me and the motherfuckers from Slipknot are the only living people on the planet. We're all running <laughs> around in our masks, just fucking tearing shit up. I'm running around with my sight, just what? screaming all hope What are gone. you tearing up in Iowa? Corn? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, no, that's the other thing. Ah! I got all the fucking corn I can eat, and I got my scythe to hey, fucking hey, take hey, it hey, down. Cool it on the profane words. How many, how many fucks was that? We're still trying to get We're sponsored. Still, We're trying well, to we get... can get sponsored by other people, just not YouTube. Like NordVPN. <laughs> or, like... The Tomahawk Show. I need a Sprite sponsorship. Sprite, please sponsor me. Would you like a Sprite Cranberry? I would. What a now, guys, great I want tasting you to hear beverage. Me out. Glug, 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 I have glug, just glug. one query. Want a Sprite? Diet Dr. Pepper has paid me $25 to not tell people that they paid me $25. <laughs> In fact... So all, all you need to do is off camera, drink about half of this, spit it back out, and then pretend like you just drank it. On camera and say it's the sweet one. Or it's the sweet one. if I say NordVPN's name enough, they'll either uh, send us a cease and desist or pay me not to ever say NordVPN <laughs> again. NordVPN, 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 NordVPN. NordVPN. Oh shit! <laughs> oh, oh. We, we've summoned the ghost of Nord. <laughs> <laughs> the internet is just so protected right now. Oh god! Thank you, NordVPN. <laughs> Thanks, All right, so I, uh, Joey, where would you stay? Where I would go? Okay. Now, listen to here. This, I'm going to make okay? fun of him. Also, Iowa. <laughs> Ever hear of Lake Simcoe no. in Ontario, Canada? No. Alaska was my second choice. I'd just like to throw that well, out Well, you there. see, it's not that far from uh, the U.S. border. Which one? The, the U.S. No, not the Alaskan one. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I just realized that there was two, <laughs> two borders. Two borders, yeah. yeah. Well, there's also the Mexican border. To well, Canada. I was, yeah. <laughs> to Canada. So the United States? Yeah. You know, when right. I was in Canada, it was the first time I've ever been somewhere without south of the border being Mexico. Interesting. So do you technically already own this lake? Um, sort of. Okay, so no. <laughs> uh, it's got my name on it, so I basically own it. I have claimed Lake Simcoe. So that's where I'm going because it's in Canada, it's cold. And as you can see here, uh, the lakes in Canada are very nice. I've been to Canada, uh, and I've been, I went to a couple lakes there. Each one was clear as day. Like, the water's, like, very clear, very pure. It's a good water source, and I could see, fi- I could swim, open my eyes, and see fish in there. So could I, you catch them? I... If I swam fast enough, maybe. I'm not a dolphin. Well, damn, you're already, like, throwing this one out. <laughs> You can't even swim fast enough to catch fish. How are you going to live in a lake? What? I'm not going to live in the lake. I'm going (laughs) to live... I live in the lake. I'm I'm just saying... I am lake man. So you pull up a picture of Lake Simcoe, and the only pictures I'm seeing here are water. Oh, yeah? So I'm assuming, yes, you're going to be a lake man. What is that Quick question. Is it salt water? It's not salt water. It's an inland lake. Have you ever heard of the Great Salt Lake? (laughs) The inland lake in Utah that is salt water. Yes, I've heard of it. But when have you ever heard of a f- salt inland lake aside from that one? The Dead Sea. That's a sea. 
<laughs> it's a lake. It, lake Loch Ness. I don't think I think that <laughs> one's freshwater. God damn it. Yeah, that's why it was funny. God damn it. <laughs> it's a lake. It is a lake. Salt, the Salt Lake in Asia. I de- told you. <laughs> the Dead Sea is a lake. <laughs> I told you. I thought... I thought I, I. If anybody wants to know, I took so much joy in watching him scramble to look it up quickly, and I, and then the moment he saw Salt Lake, the the look on his face made me very happy. I hate you. So yeah, there's two there's two lakes that are salt. Okay, but aside from that, what other lakes are salt? How many lakes do I have to name here? I've named <laughs> two lakes that are salt. And you want me to name every lake in what? the world? That's it. Okay. Salt lakes. What percentage of lakes are? Polluted. Salt. <laughs> All of them are salt. Salty. Salt. <laughs> salt Lake. <clears throat> I just like to say Jimmy uh, is eating these chips. Jimmy like is eating these chips. <laughs> Jimmy is He's eating. Acting like a horse eating sugar cubes. Um, Good chips. Okay. Okay. So uh, okay. quite a fucking few. Quite a few. Okay. Lake Elton. But Mono now, Lake. Now compare this to all the lakes of the list of saltwater lakes of China. So there's more. L- there's more than just this. No, that's, man, that's a long list. No, that's see also just in China. <laughs> just in China. So yeah, there's a lot of salt lakes, my man. Okay, but I didn't think there was that many. There are thousands of lakes. Nine hundred and forty-five saltwater lakes. And 166 salt lakes are listed down there. Um, so that's well over a thousand okay, lakes that are salty. When have you been to a lake that has salt water? Uh, salt Lake City. You went to Salt Lake City? When we went to uh, Las Vegas. I'm learning new things about you and it makes me hate you more and more because <laughs> you still broke my chair. Hey man, that two doesn't, chairs. That doesn't make your you lake not salty, two homie. Two chairs, but my lake is not salty. Sim- lake Simcoe is a fresh body of water. I I don't doubt Genuinely that, but it was a we were still on. It that. was a valid it, question. It was a valid question. I overreacted. I'm gonna be. I'm I'm owning up to it. Okay, I'm taking the blame here. All right. So what I'm gonna say is that there are apparently a lot of salt lakes than what I thought. I want to hear an apology. I'm not apologizing. I want to hear it. I'm not apologizing for knowing what I didn't know. Wow. This is the Jimmy Was Right dance. That is the Jimmy that Was Right dance. That is the gayest dance I have ever hey, seen. It's whoa, the whoa, Jimmy is right dance. whoa. That is the dumbest dance whoa. I have ever seen. <laughs> Dang. That's, um... I think you should apologize for that one. Well, we have um, never I would. I would like to apologize so. to the... Uh, African American community. Wrong one. Wrong one. I would like to apologize to the Native American community. Wrong one again. I would like to apologize to the homosexual American community. There you go. <laughs> and, well, just it doesn't have to be Americans. Sorry, there's a rooster in here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I. F- what are you planting in the apocalypse? Corn. Corn. Well, I'm in Iowa, so corn. <laughs> and potatoes. Wheat. You can cook them. Bake them. Yeah, just think right. of all okay. of the uh, wheat thins I can make. <laughs> Never had a wheat thin. <laughs> I love wheat thins. They're so good. They are so good. They're like Triscuits. Uh, is somebody shitting themselves? <laughs> no, that's the balloon. What balloon? It sounds like someone's shitting themselves. <laughs> you see that balloon that he's filling up over there? That balloon. No, I don't see it. <laughs> All right. What balloon? What balloon are you talking about? I'll just eat my chips. <laughs> if anyone's wondering why I haven't been talking for the last 30 seconds, I started to walk to Iowa, but got cold. <laughs> <laughs> Made it to Iowa, got cold, came back. <laughs> yeah? You, en- you enjoying them chips? That's what I'm taking in the apocalypse. Just oh. chips? <laughs> Tortilla chips. No one time, water. Hold on, just actually, salty ass tortilla chips. One time, one of my cousins ran away from home, and all she took was a bag. And you know what was in the bag? The ruffles. Three bags of chips. Lay's potato chips. That's classic. all you need. Classic barbecue. I think Sour classic cream? again. <laughs> oh, you know what? That's solid. <laughs> she could have made it at least two miles. <laughs> 
So, uh, yeah. Think of all the nutrients there. Mm, not much. <laughs> think of all the cholesterol. A lot. <laughs> anyway, that's been this week's podcast. So, anyways, that's been this week's podcast. I'm your host, Joey Simcoe, and, uh... I'm your co-host... Wait, can you plant balloony? <laughs> I'm your co-host, James Skidmore. Austin, would you like to say goodbye to the people? Uh, not really. All right. See you next week.